Coming up, Keene State Volleyball is on a roll to start the season. Men's soccer is pouring on the goals lately, and a special honor for longtime OWL coach Dr. Ron Butcher. Those stories and more are next. Welcome to Inside Owl Athletics. I'm Matt Holderman. The excitement is growing around the renaming of Keene State soccer field. Saturday, the field will be renamed Dr. Ron Butcher Field. Later in the show, we'll talk with Coach Butcher about his career and his thoughts on this great honor. But first, this week's highlights. Keene State Volleyball is off to a great start this season. Wednesday night, they hosted Emmanuel College and Inside Owl Athletics' Tyler DeRosa was there. The Owls showed just how dangerous of a team they are, getting out to an early lead in the first set. Allie McLaughlin showed her strong kill capabilities in the first set with shots like this. Owls take set one, 25-15. The Saints did keep it closer in the second set, but Emily Ann Ashford's kill gave the Owls the slight edge. This nearly one-minute volley extended the game for Emmanuel, but Keene State took the second set, 25-21. The third set was all Owls. Keene took set three, 25-14. Coach Weiner did say that McLaughlin had the big night that fans have come to expect, but this was really a team victory. If you look at our stats, everybody else had four, five, six, seven kills. That's hard to defend. Allie McLaughlin ended up leading the team with 16 kills as the Owls cruised to their sixth straight win. For Inside Owl Athletics, I'm Tyler DeRosa. Saturday, the team picked up a pair of wins in a try match with WPI and Wentworth. Keene State easily took down WPI 3-0. Wentworth took the Owls to five games, but Keene State prevailed 3-2. Field hockey has fought back to a 500 record on the season with a shutout win. Tuesday, the Owls blanked Colby Sawyer 3-0. Kayla Klein scored once and Nina Bruno got two goals in the game. Field Hockey Open Conference play Saturday at Westfield State. Keene State got its first conference win 2-1. Both Keene goals came on assists from Allie McCall to Kelsey Roberts. The women's soccer team made a late charge at Westfield State Wednesday night, but it wasn't enough to pull out the win. Keene State got second half goals from Kaliana Paloff and Kaylee Marshall, but Westfield takes the win 3-2. Saturday, the team met their first conference opponent on the road at Castleton. The Spartans controlled this one from the start, and the Owls fell 3-0. Midfielder Amanda Marshall had five shots, leading the Owls. The men's team had no problem finding the net on the road at Elms College Saturday. The Owls exploded with five goals in the road win. Emmanuel Smith had two goals. Then Vance Bates, Donovan Harris, and LJ Luster also scored for the Owls. A pair of volleyball standouts are your Little East Conference Players of the Week. Senior libero Olivia Matthew is getting her third consecutive Defensive Player of the Week award. She had 66 digs in three games last week. Teammate Ali McLaughlin is the Conference Offensive Player of the Week. Her 148 kills leads the league so far this season. McLaughlin is also one of your Owl Athletes of the Week. Her 115 attacks last week led the team, and she's hit 200 or better in five straight matches. She's joined by Emmanuel Smith. His two goals at Elms College broke the game open and propelled Keene State to that 5-2 victory. Congratulations to all our Athletes of the Week. This Saturday, Keene State College will be honoring longtime men's soccer coach Dr. Ron Butcher in the ultimate fashion by renaming the soccer field after him. This week, I talked to Dr. Butcher to see how much the field dedication means to him. There are some who can be called great, but only one who can be called the greatest. We made a name for ourselves, and in turn, we made a name for Keene State College. After dedicating nearly a half century of his life to the soccer fields at Keene State College, Dr. Ron Butcher will now have the Owl soccer field dedicated to him. Well, it's a special moment in my life. Obviously, I, I had a big party after my 500th win, had a big party when I retired, and now the final chapter is here today. And it's the final chapter of a story Butcher has been writing for a long time. Butcher coached Keene State's men's soccer team for 43 years, from 1970 to 2013. I was so blessed to come here in 1970 
with a president who wanted to start a competitive program. Even though he had a program for 20 years, I think they only had one winning season in those 20. But Butcher turned things around fast. During his years as a coach, he won countless awards and led the Owls to postseason tournaments 31 times. He ended his NCAA coaching career in 2013 with 596 wins, the fifth most all-time for any men's soccer coach in NCAA history. But Butcher says he had a lot of help getting there. If it wasn't for the players who played for me for the last 43 years, all this that's happened in the last few years in, in terms of accolades and newspaper articles and interviews would never have happened. The men's soccer team's current coach, Rick Scott, is one of the main people making the field dedication possible. The naming policy here, or the university system, they want you dead before they name a field after you. So we had to go through quite a process to get that um, waived. Obviously, I have to thank uh, Coach Rick Scott uh, for making this happen. Uh, he spent a lot of time <laughs> making it happen. And he was my assistant coach for 22 years, but I've known him for 40 because he played for me on some of the great teams in the 70s. With the field being named after him, Butcher's impact will always be felt at Keene State. But he says that he wants the current players and coaches to carry on the tradition and legacy that he has left behind. We're trying to get the young kids now, the, the kids that are playing for Coach Scott, the teams of the last five years, to understand how important tradition is. Tradition made this program. It's up to you to keep it going, okay? You form your own tradition. You form your own memories, but it's up to you to keep the legacy of Keene State soccer going. The field dedication for Dr. Butcher will be held tomorrow, Saturday, September 21st. It will happen immediately after the Keene State men's soccer game versus Rhode Island College. That starts at 3. For tickets to that game, go to keen.universitytickets.com. Again, that's keen.universitytickets.com. There's action on the road and at home this weekend. All games are on Saturday. The cross country teams will run at the UMass Dartmouth Invitational. Races begin there at 10.30. Volleyball is off to Rhode Island College for a noon match. Women's soccer is a lawn on that trip. Their game with the Anchor Women starts at 1. Here at home, field hockey hosts UMass Dartmouth at 1.30. And men's soccer kicks off with the RIC Anchormen at 3. Don't forget, immediately after the men's soccer game, the ceremony to rename the field in honor of Dr. Ron Butcher will begin. All OWL fans are invited to attend, and we'll have coverage of that dedication ceremony next week here on the show. That's all for this week's show. For all of us here at Inside Owl Athletics, I'm Matt Holderman. Thanks for watching.